Hey, Nico here. Today I want to talk about the fireball lilies, Gedexus multiflorus, subspecies multiflorus. We had a good bit of rain approximately four or five days ago, and just a bunch of them have shot out of the ground, and they are looking absolutely fantastic at the moment. So let's go learn a bit more about these. So Scadexus is part of the Amaryllis family, Amaryllidaceae, which usually contains some of the most um, ornamentally important bulbous plants. Um, they flower at the very beginning of the rainy season, and usually after the first good rain, you will start to see them shoot up their flower stalks. We had a good little bit of rain at the beginning of November, so we actually had a number of them come up, not too many, um, just at that point in time. And you can see that these guys are developing seed at the moment on this um, inflorescence, which is finished. This inflorescence back here had started to flower, but then as it dried out, it kind of uh, went into a bit of a pause. And now with the return of the rain, it is um, continuing to flower. But we had about 40 millimeters about four days ago and up four or five days ago, I should say. And up all of this has come in that period of time. These plants love a well-drained um, but moisture retentive soil. They don't want to be sitting in water. Um, for the most part, I'll say for the most part, I have found some plants in swamp forests that were sitting in water, but that would be a rarity. Most of the time these guys want fairly well-drained soil. Um, fairly good on the nutrient side as well, not too rich, but then well enough suited. And older plants can develop into quite a bit of a um, complex too. So this initially was one plant, it is now split and there's about 13 or 14 flower heads on it from division of the original bulb and the like. It is just a fantastic clump and as you can see the bees are all over it gathering the pollen. Um, once that finishes the, uh, the, the berries will start to uh, develop going from green um, to ripening to a orange or red kind of color. And at that point in time, the birds will start to disperse them. So the individual flowers of the Scadoxus will usually last, you know, anywhere from a few days to about a week, depending on what the, the kind of temperatures are like. So in cooler weather, the flower heads will last longer. In hot weather, they will go over very quickly. Um, here again, you can see several plants that had come up and flowered uh, when we had that bit of rain at the beginning of November. And this one here with its kind of double inflorescence is, uh, has come up since the rain that we had earlier in the week. The best way of getting the best out of Scadexus is to plant in different locations so that when you do have rain, some plants will start to grow and flower first. After the next rain, more plants will come up and flower. And in that way, rather than having only, you know, upwards of a week's flowering period, you can actually get that blooming period lasting over the course of four weeks or so, depending on, on how widespread you have them and in what locations you have them planted. So another way to extend the bloom period of Scadoxus in the garden is to have different collections. And this plant here is actually one that grows naturally here on the farm, but it is only just starting to appear now. It's got the inflorescence um, coming up beside the leaves. So this type of flowering is referred to as synanthus, where the leaves and the flowers emerge at the same time. Whereas the first plants that we saw in the beginning of the video are hysteranthus, where the leaf stalk emerges first and then the leaves will come out after. So with these plants here, they emerge slightly later, a week to two weeks later usually, than the first plants that we saw. And their bloom period will be then also delayed by a week or two, um, depending on how the season progresses. You, you can't turn around and say it's going to be one or the other. It all really depends on how the season really progresses here. Um, these ones will be in flower probably in a week or two's time, and we will see about that then. 
So here, now we have the later flowering Skeduxus, as I said, and actually I see that we've got these beetles still hanging off of them. They're always going to be a pain in the butt, um, but again, they're not as bad as the amaryllid moth. So. But we can see now, this is about a week and some days later than when I was shooting the original video, and now this guy is out in flowering. Um, so the different collections can extend the blooming period of these plants and having them in slightly different locations. I'll actually um, put up another video of the um, this later blooming type contrasted against some of the earlier blooming types, but um, it's fantastic then to be able to kind of plant and have that option of something that's going to bloom a little earlier, something that's going to bloom a little later. And uh, the easiest way to tell that is looking at, in terms of how the flower comes out. If it's coming out as the leaves are emerging, that's going to be slightly later than if it comes out when it is just by itself, before the leaves even start to emerge, which will be quite an early flowering one. So, But I hope you enjoyed that little brief spotlight on the Skeduxus, these fantastic flowering plants. And we will see you in the next one. Cheers.